Let's do one more example using the alternating series estimation theorem. Let's try to estimate the integral of cosine of x squared from 0 to 0 0.1 with a maximum error of 10 to the minus 8th. Now, you may be thinking, we weren't given a series. How are we going to use the alternating series estimation theorem? Well, it turns out that cosine of x squared is very hard to integrate. So, what we can do instead is use its power series and integrate that. So first we have to find the power series for cosine of x squared. Recall that cosine of x has Maclaurin series sum from n equals 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the n times x to the 2n over 2n factorial. So to find the Maclaurin series for cosine of x squared, we substitute x squared for x in the series above, and we get that cosine of x squared is equal to the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the n times x to the 4n over 2n factorial. And now we can integrate. We want the integral of cosine of x squared, so let's replace cosine of x squared with the power series we just found, and then integrate term by term, and plug in our bounds, and we get that the integral we want is equal to the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the n over 4n plus 1, times 0 0.1 to the 4n plus 1 over 2n factorial. So we have rewritten this integral as a series, and now the goal is to give an approximation of this series to within 10 to the minus 8th. As you may have guessed, to approximate the sum of the series, we're going to use the alternating series estimation theorem. But before we can do that, we must check that this series satisfies the conditions of the alternating series test. It turns out that it does, but it would probably be a good exercise for you to verify this on your own. Once we have these conditions verified, we can continue just like we did in the previous example. We want to find an n such that bn plus 1, which is equal to 0 0.1 to the n plus 1, divided by 4 times n plus 1 plus 1, times 2 times n plus 1 factorial is less than or equal to 10 to the minus 8th. Now, there's no hope of solving this inequality for n, so let's find an n by plugging in the first few values. Doing this, we find that the first n that works is n equals 3. That is, b3 plus 1, which is equal to 0 0.1 to the 4th divided by 17 times 8 factorial, which is about equal to 1.46 times 10 to the minus 10th, is less than 10 to the minus 8th. So, by the alternating series estimation theorem, R3, the error in approximating the sum of the series by the third partial sum, is going to be less than or equal to 10 to the minus 8th. Thus, S3, the sum from n equals 0 to 3 of our series, which is about equal to 0 0.99004690, is within 10 to the minus 8th of the actual sum of the series, which is again equal to the integral that we originally wanted. So that's all I have for this lecture. Stay tuned for the next one, where we'll talk about applications of Taylor series.